For our history project, we decided to do The Monuments Men, directed by George Clooney. This stars George Clooney as Frank Stokes, Matt Damon as James Granger, and Kate Blanchett as Claire Simone. This movie was released February 7th, 2014, and is approximately 118 minutes long. The plot summary for this movie is, after the ending of World War I, seven men agreed to a mission to restore both cultural and personal art pieces to their owners after they have been stolen by Nazi thieves as a mission to destroy the valuable artifacts. Overall, I found this film very entertaining and had an all-star cast. The main idea of the film was historically accurate but lacked accuracy of small details throughout the film. This film's message is to inform us of other happenings during the war that aren't violence related, while also sending a strong message of fighting for what is believed is right, as well as fighting for what you want, which in this case is the stolen art. Based on a true story, Monuments Men stresses the importance of art and how Hitler is destroying both cultures and society by stealing the pieces. In an effort to save the works of art, lead art historian Frank Stokes promotes the mission of the monument spent to the president, who furthermore clears a group of seven art experts to travel through several countries, such as Germany and Paris, in order to restore the artifacts to their original owners. All seven men take their own journeys in finding art throughout the movie, such as James Granger, who seeks the help of museum curator uh, Claire Simone. This movie shows the less violent side of World War II while still managing to show the struggles the men face while putting their lives at risk for art. Although the movie had many strengths in terms of historical accuracy, such as art pieces, settings, events, etc., it seemed to somewhat lack in showing the true difficulty these men would have had with traveling through countries at the, after the war and finding the art in general. I think you feel sorry for us old guys. I don't much fancy an obstacle course. It's not so bad. By the end, you're just crawling on your belly while teenagers shoot blanks over your head. Well, yes and no. How's that? Yes, they are teenagers. And no? They're not blanks. <laughs> Moving on to details that were false for entertainment purposes, an appropriate example of criteria was the change in the actors' names in the movie. For example, character Walter Garfield, who was meant to be representing Walter Hancock. Although the names were not historically accurate, the characters were still set out to be to be believable due to them portraying intelligence, bravery, but also doubt in the uh, effectiveness of their plan, just like it would be assumed the real monuments men would face. A scene specifically added for entertainment purposes is when actor Matt Damon playing James Granger steps upon a landmine while searching for art. Although not historically accurate, the scene builds suspense, comical relief, as well as adding special effects for entertainment. Regardless if this event didn't happen, it represents a realistic problem they could have come across in their missions. Directing ran smoothly for the most part, with the exception of some confusing scenes, such as the ending, which seemed rushed and made us somewhat unaware of what was going on. Although confusing, it became evident that the meaning scenes for entertainment purposes and to show the significance of what the monuments men did as well as her posing the idea that their stories will be remembered and passed on through generations as shown by the closing of an elderly frank stokes with his grandson admiring the last monument that was saved with this many people dying who cares about art they're wrong because it's exactly what we're fighting for, for our culture and for our way of life. One of the main demonstrations of historical values in this movie was the historical events that both took place in real life and on screen. A main event that was shown was while searching through a salt mine in Merkins on April 15, 1945, the men found 100 tons of wretched bank gold, which belonged to the Nazis, resulting in media attention towards the gold, but unfortunately not to the ongoing search for the stolen art. Another main event that occurred was when Hitler released the Nero Decree, which was a statement that brought the understanding that if he was to die or fail to win the upcoming war, the art was to be destroyed along with the failures that came upon him. This brought panic towards the monuments men and realization that saving the art was a main priority. In addition to historical events, the setting of the movie portrayed accuracy as well. 
An example of it was shown near the ending when the men became aware that the Nazis were hiding art in abandoned mines and furthermore searched the Altos salt mine, where they came upon the finding of the Madonna statue sculpted by Michelangelo. As well as mines being accurate, museum accuracy was a main point as well. Jeu de Palme Museum in Paris was an important setting that was used throughout the art leading operation led by the Nazis. The museum was used as headquarters and also became a valuable source of information as to where the art was being sent. The last example of accuracy is the portrayal of characters throughout the storyline. One of the best examples of character accuracy was Claire Simone, who was meant to represent Rose Valland. She was a valuable part to the history of the mission, as she was an employee at the Jeux de Palme Museum and was able to understand German, therefore having the knowledge of where the art was being shipped to, which eventually led to her telling James Romier. The last point for accuracy was the portrayal of all characters throughout the film. An example of detailed representation and appearance was the character of Frank Stokes versus George L. Stout. They were able to express similarities in both facial hair and body build, allowing the character representation to be more realistic. As well as character accuracy, the time period of the characters was detailed with correct facts, such as the way women dress, the intelligent vocabulary, and the allowance of smoking in public areas. Therefore, we have concluded that our overall review of the film is that it was very entertaining and provided an understanding of the historical events that took place, but failed to include minor details that may have been of use to explain the difficulty that the men faced. Throughout the film, it kept my attention with its entertainment value, while at the same time giving me knowledge towards the monument men and what their goal towards protecting art was. Therefore, allow me to recommend this movie in terms of both historical evidence and entertainment. In conclusion, we both would recommend this movie's use in history class. Not only does it provide a decent understanding of who the monuments men were, but it allows you to have a different point of view of aspects that happened during World War II that are commonly thought of. Thank you, Thank for, you for watching. watching. We, we hope, hope it brought in your understanding. understanding. So for our movie project, we do my. <laughs> Understanding that if he was to die or Germany was to fit to. Uh.